Hi guys, Dano from the Nocturnal. Uh, super nice to meet you. Saw the movie last night, uh, loved it, and you guys, you know, really stole the show. Um, so I want to ask you. You guys have such a good friendship and chemistry on screen. What was your friendship like in real life on set? Maybe describe how you met. Uh, some fun, you know, moments you had working together. Maybe some challenging things. And yeah, what what was it like? Uh, you know, the friendship like behind the camera. Well two weeks before we started filming. We met each other in school. So we had those two weeks to get to know each other. We played ping pong. We explored a bunch of things in New York. In New York City, uh, the Empire State Building, the Oculus. Uh, that was my first time riding a subway. So just, I got to experience that with Banks and his family, which was great. And we, we just, we played Minecraft together. We just did a bunch of things when we weren't filming that helped create that bond. And um, just so you know, we're now both professional ping pong players, so. Oh, nice. <laughs> just thought you'd like to know that. Who's better? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Great. Um, so uh, this question for you, Banks. Um, this is a, a very personal film for James Gray. A lot of it's based off of his life and your character. Uh, it's based a lot of, off of his upbringing. Uh, what did... What did he tell you about his, you know, personal life or anything that he imparted to you that to like get you into character, uh, get you to, you know, be the childhood version of himself, basically? Um, he, he kind of got it through to me that it was just acting and he, mm -hmm. he wanted to see what I could bring to the table and then he tweaked it so he saw the Paul graph that he wanted to see. But he didn't give me a lot of personal information. I don't think that's he. I don't think he didn't want me to know the personal information. He he wanted to see what I could do with Paul. Great. Um. And so this is a a period piece, and your characters, uh, you really love the music of the time, Sugar Hill Gang. Uh, your character's a Beatles fan. Um, I was wondering, what sort of music do you guys like, or uh, did you grow to like the the songs that your characters were into and you know how was that getting into like the 80s uh uh you know frame of mind it was it was great you know i usually listen to like uh r b rap but tapping in back to that 80s music it was it was really cool because i explored all these new artists which who i've never heard of all these songs that i've never even listened to so it was it was pretty cool jamming to that yeah, Jalen kind of said it. Um, like we had less than two week period before we started filming to do it all. But yeah, one of the things was getting to know the music. We listened to Rapper's Delight over a hundred times. So yeah. Um, great. So what were some of the experiences working? Um, you know, you guys are younger actors. You're just getting into the the industry, you know, in the last couple of years, and you're working with some of the most, uh, you know, famous actors that have long storied careers like Anthony Hopkins, Anne Hathaway, Jeremy Strong. Um, what are some advice or lessons you learned from these older actors uh, that really stuck with you after rapping? Um, well, with Jeremy, I learned that there's different styles of acting and he sent me a note and it said that Acting is like a game of imagination. It's what you make of it. And Anthony taught me that you need to speak clearly because it matters. And if you don't, then it doesn't really matter. Um, and Annie taught me about the poet Rumi. And we learned a TikTok dance together. And we got to have fun and play around with the scenes. With me uh, working with Jeremy on one of the last scenes in the movie, I was able to watch him and take a lot with how he performed. And that really, I was that I was shown that there are many different ways you can act. And I just saw how he was so focused and it was really interesting to see. And I also learned a lot of lessons from James, our director, like the camera can always see through you, which really helped me, especially with my performance as Johnny. And yeah. Well, I'm curious, what was the, the TikTok dance? Can I stand up real quick? Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, so typically, I never 
wanted to name it, but we're professional TikTok dancers, me and Annie are. But when something like, went like this, and this, and then this, this one, and then like when you did it really fast, it looked like you were walking, but you were staying still. It was like, uh, it was like <laughs> you go like this, and then you go, boom, boom. Wait, is that like the hike? Or no, is the hike you do this? Oh, no, not like the, that. The, <laughs> Did that a bunch of times and when you did it fast and like smooth it was um it looked like you were kind of like walking but staying still yeah great well uh on that note uh i think we're out of time but thanks for showing me that really appreciate it uh it was great meeting you guys uh thanks and jalen it was a pleasure really again love the movie and you guys were awesome in it and excited for you know all my uh, friends and family to see it when it comes to theaters so thank you great all right thanks guys have a good one